Welcome, thank you very much indeed. I've enjoyed my three ladies. We're talking how to give women a voice, a strong voice in governance in this country. And we've been at it for some time, but we want to really, really measure the results and see how we're doing because the district assembly elections are coming up. Are women actively participating in governance issues? Well, I've been joined this morning by Gloria Kankama. She's with Abantu for Development. Gloria, thank you very much for your time. How are you doing? Great. Uh, Charity Summer uh, is uh, from the Ajay Kojo Electoral Area. Charity, thank you very much for your time as well. And much. Justine Kumoji is also from Ajay Kojo, uh, Sun City. Yes, specifically. Ladies, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll start with you, uh, ladies. Why did you decide, first of all, to want to get into governance? Thank you. Mm. Once again, for having us. I we want to or I want to contest this coming up, upcoming assembly election mm. because uh, I have an ab ambition as a woman to contribute to society okay. and then to the community in which I find myself. Mm. Yes, in terms of sanitation problems, in terms of uh, uh, sanitation, in terms of development, mm. at Jekojo we have come so far that we are living in Tema West, mm. but the environment doesn't deserve Tema West. Okay. We are far, far behind Tema. We are far, far behind Tema. In, in terms of development? In terms of development, okay. in terms of social amenities, okay. in terms of education, mm. in terms of everything, we are far, far behind. Right. So that is the reason why I wanted to contest the mm. assembly election okay. so that I can also contribute or add my voice to mm. society. I see. Madam, how about you? Why do you want to participate in yeah. a male-dominated space? I want to participate in assembly election simply because of my area okay. development. Okay. Because the problem in my area is too much in terms of uh, development. Mm. Because it's a new site that we came to settle okay. the place. Okay. So I know that if I come inside, I'll be able to bring more development to the area. I've started. I see. You have yes. started already? Yeah, I've started already in okay. 2005. Okay. That was the time I started the development of the community. Right. Bringing people together, mm. mobilizing to do the cleanup exercise. Okay. Then the environment and the buildings and whatever, mm. they have to plan the building in order. Okay. So that they can be well done in the area. I see. So I know if I get a note mm. to the district assembly level, I'll be able to do more than that. Gloria, from Abantu's point of view, the inclusion of women in our governance system, are we making inroads? Are they still getting the blockades? What is it? Actually, we, uh, we are there, but then we are stepping back after each district assembly, I mean, mm. looking at the local government, right. after each district assembly election, you see that we draw back. Why? At, um, sensitization, mm. social construct, and also how far we are competing in... For instance, when you take elections in Ghana, okay. even though our democratic credentials are good mm. out there and in Africa, in West Africa, right. but when you come inside, it's a kind of masculine mm. struggle. Mm. Women find it difficult, not find it difficult, even when they are daring right. to enter. And, and they are good. So much mm. ex excellent if they are good. And actually, most of them are good. Right. It, it becomes a masculine struggle. So most of the time, it's not like we are not trying, but mm. we are trying our best. Mm. Civil society is trying its best, like Abantu and Stagana mm. is doing now, mm. sensitizing women, training, even younger ones, persons with disability, mm. all of it to go into the district, local governance. Is, is it a national psyche problem? not to allow women to take active part because the president has said that look a certain portion of his government government will be left for women to do is that message trickling down into the local areas where people say oh this woman she is good she can be our assembly woman let's give it to her is it trickling down We are, we are not even halfway through. Right. And look at how far we have come. And when I link it to, for instance, the AU, mm. decade, the right. 
And now, look at us. Now, we have only 7% mm. in local governance as women. So <sighs> it is not going down at all, even though we are trying. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I even wonder, because Abantu, for instance, and Star Ghana and other partners have been training women over the years, mm. since 2010, and other or civil society organizations we are trying with UNDP and all that. But still, when it comes to election, you don't know what happened. Look at it. Women, when it comes to campaigning and mobilizing votes, mm. women are the leader. Right. They spearhead. The men but, use them to, but to rally people. But when it comes to casting the vote for the woman, you don't find her. Let me ask you, Madam. So, Madam San City, I like to call you yeah. because it must resonate with the people. Yeah. What are the key challenges that you have faced ever since you decided that, look, I'm going yeah, to contest this is, for... This is for, my third year mm -hmm. of contesting. And you haven't won? No, I haven't won. Why? Yeah, because the area is big. And then the, wherever I went, I, do, I couldn't reach that area. Okay. Because the development of the area is San City. Right. That's where I put on the, the electrification project, right. the water mobilizing. Right. So Ajay Kojo and the Kanehu was not part of it. Okay. So in terms of campaign time, they actually don't know me as such. Ah, I see. see. Because it's too big. Okay. Uh -huh. So now that we have been divided into three mm. but. I know. Did, did you get support from, say, the assembly or uh, no, groupings in the community churches from, yeah. and all of so that? So because of that now, some of us go to know that even party cannot support, uh, assembly cannot support. So you have to work on your own and then do your homework well mm. before you can but, but you've gone three times and, and you're not, uh, mm. you are, you are not down yet. Yes. Oh. You're you are encouraged to still contest. Yeah. I see. But so, what are your own challenges? Yes, thank you. My challenges in my area is, uh, oh, a man is not able to do it, you a woman. Mm. But I'm telling them that this is my first time. I will prove to them that with God all things are possible. Mm. And then uh, it's not easy being dominated, being, uh, uh, being among men dominated uh, programs mm. or opposition. It's not easy at all. Right. Do you if, feel bullied sometimes? Yes, sometimes you feel bullied. Sometimes they will look at you and say, ah, you two, a woman, go and sit somewhere. And I said, no, this is not a woman affair. Mm. What a man can do, a woman can also the, do it as Do your well. husbands, for example, support you from home? Your husband, your brothers, your, your sons, do they support you to, to do this? Yes, thank you. With my, my husband supported my family. They were all behind me. For instance, when I organized cleanup exercise, because that was my main attention. That was what brought me into the race. Mm. When I organize a cleanup, it's like you see all the people who come are my family okay. and my children. Yes, they were supportive. I see. They were very supportive. In terms of cleanup, you see elderly men mm. trying to push me, trying to encourage me to go ahead. I can win it. I okay. can do it. Mm. So, yes. They support you. They support Great. me. But the community that is where the problem you, is. The, the community must come along the I'll, I'll community give you... doesn't support as i expected them to be supporting mm -hmm. although they are doing their best but uh, it's not enough i see yeah. uh, gloria let's wrap up the conversation with you what will be the outlook for you from where you sit at abantu uh, we are not making the progress that we so much desire what do you say 30 seconds for you I think that um, government, because go the obligation lies on government. We have this act since 20, uh, 1994, the District Assembly Act. Mm. And then if you, re you remember, 2004, we had a fund, District Assembly Fund, mm. for local government. But okay. this is not pooling. So we are calling on Ministry of Gender and all other partners right. to come on board. The okay. District Assembly Common Fund, for instance, we can allocate a portion for the females who go into local governance. Okay. So that, that would be a push and mm. then an encouragement to the other women mm -hmm. who are trying to come on board. And then we also need affirmative action bill. Right. Because if it is there, at mm. least, and then we can say that, oh, this district, we need, because we have five 
unit committee members and one assembly member. Right. So three, three, okay. or even two, four. Thank you. Justine, take, take a bite of this. Your closing thoughts. Your people are watching. What do you say to them, uh, the way forward? Yeah, the way forward of me is that the uh, City people have to wake up because I know they like me. Mm. Because I've been working with them for 10 years now. When I'm with them, I am the first at least over there. Right. Then I've been the secretary to mobilize the community with my two men, mm. Mr. Titi and Mr. Alfredo. Right. Okay. They were the key members that collabed with me and okay. then we okay. moved together. Mm. Because I was a businesswoman, okay. they don't have time to go all over. Okay, so you so were I so, so you telling them to wake up. Yes, so okay. they should wake up and give the support to me. I see. Because they know what I can do. I see. Charity, you have the final thoughts. Uh, okay. Thirty seconds for you as well. Thank you very much. I'm just pleading with Ajekuju, the people of Ajekuju electoral area, that the man has been there for the three or 30 years or for so long. This is a time that a woman also is competing. So they should please support the woman mm. and see what can God do to the woman also. Thank you. And then uh, please, mm. we are also appealing to the government to support us through our campaigns. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you. Is with abundance. I wish you all that as we can to the best of our ability. If they are qualified, give them a role to play and push them and encourage them. And they are also uh, a portion of the common fund to be made available to them and for government to pass the affirmative action bill. My name is Jonah Hughes. To all